Hello students and welcome to my channel Math Sab. So today in this video, I'll tell you about impulse functions. So we will learn two things here. What are impulse function and what is the Laplace transform for an impulse function, right? So what is an impulse function? Sometimes it is also known as a direct delta function. So you might have seen that when during a cricket match, a player is fielding and he receives a ball with a very high speed. So the impact for the ball is very, very less, right? It's for a very less time. So this is what this you can relate it with that event. So here you can see that between A and A plus epsilon, the impact is too large. The impact is one by epsilon and rest everywhere it is zero. So this is we, how we develop a impulse function. An impulse function is denoted by this delta symbol, delta T minus A. It is equal to one by epsilon when T lies between A and A plus epsilon and it is zero otherwise, right? So when force, when a large force acts for a very short interval of time, then the product is called as impulse. So that is what we are implying here. So the unit impulse function, it is the limiting function when T lies between A and A plus epsilon. Now what happens when this epsilon approaches to zero? Then this will become infinity, this will approach to infinity and A and A plus epsilon will almost become a single point, right? They will approach to a single point. So this is when we define it as a unit impulse function. So this is what I was saying that when epsilon approaches to zero, then that rectangle the rectangular portion that you saw in the last graph. So this was the diagram. So this point was A, this point was A plus epsilon and this height was one by epsilon. So as epsilon approaches to zero, what happens? These two points will nearly come to the same point and one by epsilon, this rectangle will reach to unity, right? And hence, that function is called a unit impulse function. So, it is defined as delta T minus A. It is 0 when T is not equal to A. And it is infinity when T is equal to A. Right? And when we see the integration of this function from 0 to infinity, since the area is 1, so we will get the integral value to 1. Right? Now, the next thing that we should be knowing is what is the Laplace transform for a unit step impulse function? So, the Laplace transform for a unit impulse function, that is Laplace of delta T minus A, is E raised to power minus A. Right? So, this is what you should be knowing about it. So, thank you so much. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video and believe in yourself and you will do thank you